Hell Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment to please listen to what I'm about to read. There's an article on the X platform of our Prime Minister. Somebody wrote that. It says Simon Eber making of uh, Alexander the Great. If you don't like Simon Eba, please listen to the end and drop your comment to tell us why this is false. If you like him, confirm at the comment section. All right, let me read. He say, Mas Simon Eba is an embodiment of Biafra struggle. He took over the initiative shortly after his boss, Maaz Namdekano, was kidnapped and incarcerated by Nigerian authorities. Their thinking then was that the perpetual detention of Kano will eventually bring the Biafra agitation to nothing. But they are shocked by the superlative performance of Eba and his colleagues in pushing the Biafra actualization forward. He is a kind of Alexander the Great in the making. The truth remains that God is using him mightily as he is used as he used individuals like Alexander and the Darius in the past. The Lord has a master plan about the major events in this world, both the ones that have taken place and the ones yet to take place. Biafra's sovereignty is one of them. God planned about secession of uh, world empires. The featured Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, Iraq, Darius of Persia, Iran, and Alexander the Great of Media Persia, that is Greece. Others are yet to come. Jehovah used those men at one time or the other to fit into his master plan for the end of this world. Some of them were ungodly men, were fully aware of God's hand upon them. Nevertheless, God used them to achieve his purpose for nations. They thought it was by their own might to conquer nations. But later, some of them realized God's supernatural intervention in their lives for the great victories. God allowed Alexander to easily conquer nations, which were much stronger and more armed than his. Their soldiers vastly outnumbered his also. He met little resistance in the territories he defeated. God showed Prophet Daniel in Revelation, referred to Alexander as he goat that broke the horns of the ram. The ram signified king of Persia Empire, Daniel chapter 8 verse 5 to 8. God said he would conquer nations and establish himself in the empire. Four kingdoms will arise from his domain. History had it that when Alexander died, his kingdom was split among his, his four army commanders. People are amazed at the high level of success Simon and his colleagues have recorded in the struggle. God is highly involved in what they are doing. The Lord has seen the oppression and bondage of our people in the hands of Fulani Alsa with uh, Yoruba collaborators. He has therefore come down to deliver us from the hand of the wicked, as he did to Israel under bondage in Egypt. Eba continued with his activities in a non-violent form. After the detention of Namdekano, he was merely exposing the atrocities of Nigerian armed men deployed to terrorize Biafra. He videoed and showed to the world the secret killings going on here against our people. They mounted roadblocks, even inside villages, extorting money from people and arresting innocent youths. Mortuaries were filled up especially in Imo State, with dead bodies of youth killed. All kinds of criminally-minded people were given deadly weapons and uniforms to terrorize our land. His lamentation and those of us on the media over the carnage going on in the eastern Nigeria fell on deaf ears. 
international community did very little or nothing to address the genocide against us. The impunity of our oppressor began to get out of hand. They started burning houses and shops of our people under flimsy excuses. At a stage, Iba began to issue warnings and ultimatum to those terror terrorists in uniform to stop burning properties. It yielded some results. Then they began to bomb our villages with war planes. Of course, many were killed. The dictator who left power in 2023 committed a lot of despicable acts during his misrule. Soldiers used machine guns to spray bullets on the houses and people and people in our villages. The impostor and illiterate wicked havoc in our land. God Almighty will expose and punish evil carnage. Alright, I don't know if you followed us to the end and how clearly you were able to understand what I was reading. Well, I want to tell you that this is actually the truth and uh, nothing but the truth because events of this world, God actually used men and women to actualize it, actualize it at one time or the other. Yes, Mazinam de Kano is a being that God has used so much to expose the onslaught and the planned Islamization and the fulanization of our people. At times, it was as if he was talking too much. Many a times, our people we are confused as to why he refused to close his mouth. You know, he merged his uh, talk with action by creating Eastern Security Network and arming them to the teeth so that they will be able to stand the test of time. And that stopped the carnage in the southeast by chasing away the Fulanese, the headsmen, the Mieti Allah, who have taken it upon him upon themselves to attack village, village by village, you know, killing people and littering their bodies on the grounds. <laughs> well, when they managed to sabotage the efforts of ESN by the use of Ifani, a Geoffroy and Co. And of course, the DOS who have suddenly gone dumb, they don't talk again, they don't say any other thing, because they have sold their master. Well, surprisingly to them, one person from nowhere, Marcy Simon, Emma, from Finland, of course, came up and took up the fight. Single-handedly, like a joke, like play, he continued to dismantle and unveil and expose and destroy, even to the extent of arming some men to please come, 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 fight. You don't need to run. If you start running, where will you end the run? So men on ground now took it up and say, oh yes, we don't need to run. Because they took up arms. And the worst of it all is that whenever they kill them, they show it on platforms, you know, social media, that they are not hiding it. Gone are those days that it is hide and seek game because our enemies are still into that hide and seek games. You know, deniers upon deniers, when they kill, they deny. But we ourselves, when we disseminate them, we bring them with their uniforms on ground, we bring them on air. And people will see and confirm, yes, on a man. Have you ever imagined how debris of U.S. Army was found in Ono? What is going on? That is to say that internationally they are sponsoring terrorism against our people. <laughs> if you have contrary opinion to this, I will wish that you drop your comment, okay? If you have a same opinion, Still commend Simon Eber and pray for him. Call on God to continue what he has started in the guy's life so that Biafra will come. Right now, as we speak, people are voting. Have you voted? If you have not, what are you waiting for? Just vote. Do that your little quota and that is what matters. Because one person per vote, that is what we are counting. There is no rigging, there is no, there is no nyama nyama or any toggling in it. In your comfort zone, you can actually vote without making noise. 
You don't need to queue under the sun, under the rain, only to be rigged out by Tunubu and their coal. <laughs> oh my goodness, so this is quite different. Please go and vote. Thank you very much for your time on this very channel. God bless you all.